again so past present and future this is for the collective and all signs these are the cards that have come out today so this could be um this is timeless tarot reason as well so whenever you are called to watch this it could be just what you need to hear so i feel like your past has been the hangman so there's been a lot of waiting around a lot of hanging around I don't think you've been aware of this situation, but this has been of your own doing. Uh, this has been a case that you've probably put blockages in your way without you probably even knowing. And you could have moved away from the situation before, but now, present, you are ready. You are ready to move away and you are ready to rebuild yourself. Remember to let go of the past though, because if you don't, you'll bring the past in with you, which is sort of relating a little bit to the reading I did yesterday or the video I did yesterday. You need to let the past go. If you are ready to move on with your life, you are ready to move forward, you don't want to pack that in your suitcase, in your mental suitcase. You want to leave that where it is. You've lived it, you've been there, you've got the t-shirt, let it go if you can. If there's any pain from that, then lift See what pain you have got and try and heal that and leave it in the past where it belongs because you are now ready for the present. And if you do that, you will find that you'll be able to easily walk away from things and you are going to be able to project a much more focused life, a much more balanced and harmonious life as well, as if that's the right word. Um, yeah, I think. Um, so the information that's coming through is regain your focus be careful of what you're thinking because what you're thinking you're attracting your mind sets the way your mind projects what's going to happen so when you are thinking um, negatively those negative thoughts are going to turn into reality. We are what we attract and we are like a sponge. We suck everything up and that includes the emotional side of our thought process as well. So when our thoughts aren't in great alignment and they are negative, it starts to affect our physical body and it sends it out to the universe that this is what we're looking for and this is what we're expecting. So the guidance is be very, very careful of your thinking. Let go of the past. You don't need to live that anymore. If you've tried to move away from things and it's not worked and you feel stuck and a bit lost, work on you. Don't work on your surroundings and what you've been through. And the people involved work on you. What would make you happy? What would bring joy and happiness into your life? I've mentioned before, if you feel stuck and you, you've tried everything, I always say, I pass it on to the universe and say so I'm passing it over to you. What's also coming through is take care of you. <coughs> Excuse me. Take care of you and your body. Drink lots of fresh water which is probably why I'm coughing. Try and stay away from alcohol and stimulants I'm getting. Try and stay away from coffee. Um, try and drink more herbal tea if you can and filtered water if you can. This might be a rebirth time I'm getting. It's time to cleanse and let go. Um, let go of the old narrative as well. Try and bring yourself out of the the old system. Now, I'm just channeling this through now, so I'm just the messenger. <laughs> Let go of the 3D system. Get off that roundabout as best you can. Jump off it. Try and look at ways that's going to make your, your life a happier life. Try and make ways Try and make things in your life a projection 
of what you want moving forward. Imagine the wheel. I don't know whether I've, got, I've not got it in front of me. The Wheel of Fortune card on the tarot. You're going to keep going round on that. But if you project a more happier lifestyle, you're going to attract more into your life and more and more things are going to come into your life. Otherwise, you're just going to be on a continuous wheel moving round and round and round. You've got this. You are amazing and you have got this, I'm getting. Have faith in yourself. Stop looking for other people to give you the clarity you need, to give you the left you need. Go in yourself. Um, do a bit of meditation. If you struggle to meditate, go for a walk. Take some time out off your phone, off surrounding noises, the, the, the TV. Even if you're at work, go out on your break if you can, weather permitting. Um, take some time out. Take some time for you and say, what do I really want? Things are changing in this world and things are changing in a good way. It may not seem it like right now because if you're listening to the radio and you're listening on TV, you are listening to fear because that's where they want you to be. Um, and you can move away from that. And the more you move away from that, the more you will feel yourself lifted and lightened. And the more you bring positivity into your life with the way of positive affirmations, working on your gratitude, what you're grateful for. Even if you feel at the lowest step right now and you think, well, what have I got to be grateful for? Because basically I feel like everything's going wrong. If that is the case for you, think about, go, go more within, well, are you healthy? You know, can you walk? Can you talk? You know, go right back to the basics. Ground yourself and think about, I can actually breathe. You know, there's some people out there going to hospital every day because they are so poorly. I haven't got that. I can see, I can hear. So, which means if you have all those things, you can control what's coming into your mental mind, what your eyes are seeing and what your ears are hearing and what you are speaking. So, yeah, be very careful on what you are listening to in the background as well, I'm getting because that actually, actually is going into your subconscious mind and have an effect on your well-being. Put on some nice healing, relaxing music, which is what I've got in the background. Light a candle, light a stick, and just sit. And if you've got that busy monkey mind, let that monkey mind just have a little, a little wander around and then just say, right, okay, this is my time. If it's focusing on you, asking you to focus on things you don't need to do right now. Then I always say to myself, I'll do that in 10 minutes. This is my time now, but I will do that. Eventually that monkey mind will know that, okay, I'm not gonna win here because you keep telling it. <clears throat> Set the intention that you're gonna have a good positive day. Set the intention that only positive things are going to come into your day. Call in the angels. Call in the universe. Call in spiritual guidance. I'm going to call in Archangel Gabriel because my voice keeps going. I think it might be the joystick. <coughs> so sorry. Stay positive because you've got this. And sometimes it takes us to reach rock bottom to pull ourselves out and search for things to enable us to, to grow enable our soul to grow because our soul knows what it wants from this lifetime and the path that our soul wants to follow if you open up to that and work with yourself and speak to yourself and ask your soul what do i want what what am i supposed to be doing right now what's the best thing for me guide me and show me please have faith, believe and receive and watch out for the signs. I hope this helps in love and light. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you.